Hey up. No ride this week, but got something a little bit different for this video. I thought I might share with you my top five cycling channels on YouTube. They're entertaining, informative, and most of all fun. They really inspire me to want to go out on a ride and they keep me motivated. In no particular order, here's the first one. This is Rides of Japan. He touts himself as a gravel enthusiast and an amateur bike mechanic and he only owns one bike and the best thing I like about this is that he makes do with that one bike but he buys new parts for it, he upgrades it, he tells us about where he goes in Japan and it's pretty fun, he's done some road tests and he does a lot of bike packing as well I just really like it, it's entertaining, his videos are well made and the colours are really, really nice, he's got some good drone shots and it's one to watch The second one is Katie Kookaburra. She's a local girl from round near where I live, well, round Greater Manchester. And uh, she started out a cycling journey um, quite a few years ago now. She's done uh, videos on weight loss and how cycling has helped her. She's done lots of endurance rides and she can go for hundreds of kilometers. Um, she's done some Strava challenges and Everesting challenges. Um, she's got quite a few sponsors and she rides a Ribble Endurance. She also does a bit of gravel biking and she does some bike packing as well. So it's really interesting watching her. Uh, really nice girl and she reaches out to the community and often does videos about other people as well. So check her out. Next on my list is Dustin Klein. Now Dustin Klein is a gravel enthusiast first and foremost. He's also a tattooist and a talented creative and he travels round and meets with other riders as well as riding with his own crew as well. Uh, entertaining videos, really nice soundtracks, mainly like um, old school music like 40s and 50s uh, and it's, it gives a really good flavour to the channel. Uh, he's all about gravel bikes, big tyres, shredding up trails, um, maximum elevation and really long rides so check that one out as well. Next up, another female rider, Juliet Elliott. Um, really into gravel, but also rides on road, rides single speeds as well, um, is a sponsored racer. They've got some really good videos of her doing um, like gravel trips abroad, uh, gravel riding and local country lanes and stuff down in Devon. So it's really interesting watching all that. Um, a lot of stuff filmed with a GoPro view, which is really good for making you feel like you're on the ride and really good vlogging and, and informative conversations as well so i really like that one check her out and also check out her partner dave knox um, he's also a sponsored rider and sometimes they ride together too so it's fun this list wouldn't be complete without mentioning gcn the global cycling network and this is what i use for all my cycling news uh, new tech, new products and that sort of thing but they've also got some really good bikepacking videos and long trips where um, the, the presenters go out and they basically have loads of fun on the road they come up with silly challenges and it's quite funny as well so check that one out there is um, quite a few different formats of videos on there some of the longer trips like I said some are news shows and others are interviews and things but it's really good part of the global cycling network is uh, GMBN as well global mountain biking news so check that one out too And I know I said this list wasn't in any order, but my favourite out of all of these has got to be Firmware. His uh, video, videography is amazing. He's got a drone as well. Um, some of the trips he does and some of the rides they go on, the Ride Beyond crew, it's crazy. And they do a bit of gravel. Um, I'm not sure whether he's sponsored, but they all tend to ride focus bikes. He does some single speed racing, some crit racing. Uh, it's from Amsterdam and his videos are just really fun. Vlog style but a lot of like um, photography and, and videography and um, really nice scenes and I think it's been one of the main inspirations for my channel and the way I want it to look as well. And last on the list, I know it's a little bit cheating but I've picked my own channel. The reason why is because 
it motivates me. I enjoy doing it so much. I've not got many subscribers. I've not got that many comments. I've not got that many likes, but I've been consistent over these past few weeks, a couple of months actually. A uh, new video every Thursday, and hopefully after seeing this one, you'll check it out, have a look at some of my videos, and join me and Nick for a ride. And that's all I can say about it really, without blowing my own trumpet too much. So I hope you've enjoyed these suggestions. Go and check them all out. You don't have to subscribe, just have a watch, see what you like. Something for everyone. Uh, leave me a comment if you like, and I'd like to know some more suggestions on the channels that I'm missing. Obviously this is not all of them, these are just my top ones. Uh, but any links to new channels that I can find out, particularly interested in road racing, um, the sports technique behind road racing and, and the, the science behind it really. Um, also gravel racing, uh, gravel bikes and riding, backpacking, uh, long adventure trips, anything really. So thanks for watching, leave me a comment, subscribe, like and I'll see you next week with another long ride video. Thank you.